Hello guys, this is Only Abi Doang, and today I'm gonna talk about the latest free update for The Sims 4 that was released on June 29th, 2021. This update features a huge limited time music festival in the game called Sims Sessions, and also some other things to note. Alright, without further ado, let's take a deep dive into this event first. Do you remember the challenges in The Sims 4 back in the early days, like Day of the Dead challenge or the Plant Sim challenge? Well, this is somewhat like that, but this time it's not a challenge but an actual limited time event. The event, called Sim Sessions, is held from June 29th to July 7th, 2021. First of all, when you log into your game in between the mentioned date, you'll gain a notification stating that a music festival is coming to town. You'll also be given this ticket in your Sims inventory. If you click on it, you can check out the festival's info first. Apparently, the festival will be held every Sunday in the game, not in real life, at 12 p.m. until past midnight. The location will be at Magnolia Blossom Park in Willow Creeks, and it features performances from real-life artists in their Sims form, which are BB Rexa, Glass Animals, and Joy Oladakun. You can also take a look at the lessons menu for this event through the ticket to learn more. I'm not sure what will happen to the ticket once the event ends though. Anyway, once the festival starts, you can get to the event by three ways. From invitation through phone call from someone, from the ticket itself, or from the neighborhood map. The location of the festival will be clearly labeled on Willow Creek. Once you arrive, you can find the festival ground already arranged at the river bend near the park. There are many things to do here. There's a food stall where you can order a variety of meals, a market table that sells random stuff from time to time, ranging from toys, gems, collectibles, etc. A merch stall where you can either buy random items or purchase and wear various t-shirts themed around sim sessions and its performers, and several tents where your sims can freshen up and take a rest. Right in the middle is a stage for the performers with a piano right in the middle. Not long after you arrive, the performers will then appear out of thin air on the backstage, greet the audience, and begin their performance. The first performance will be from Joy Oladukun. She will perform a seamless rendition of her song titled Breathe Again. The second performance will be from the leader of the band Glass Animals, Dave Bailey. He will perform a solo seamless rendition of the band's song titled Heat Waves. The third and final performance will be from BB Rexa. She will perform an acoustic seamless rendition of her song titled Sabotage. During the performance, many of the audience will either be cheering other performances or will be listening to the song thoroughly. There are many options that your sim, the audience, can do. They can dance to the performance, get hyped for the performer, cheer on the performer, clap for the performer, or take a photo of the performance. Each performance will play out for quite a while and after it finishes, the performer will face the audience, take a bow, leave, and then disappear into thin air again. The next performer will then take the stage and perform until all three performers have fully performed. The whole festival will last even until midnight. After attending the full festival, your sim will gain an inspired moodlet for the whole 24 hours. Once the last performer finishes, your sim can finally walk up the stage if they want to. They can even play the piano if they want, no matter how bad it is. And finally, at around 2.30am, all of the festival buildings and objects will vanish out of existence. The festival will then be held again next Sunday in the game until July 7th if you'd like to attend it. I kinda wish for it to be a permanent thing because having occasional music festival like this from time to time in the game can be really a fun experience. Maybe they're just testing the waters right now and are gonna plan a full-blown showtime pack like in The Sims 3 later. Well, we don't know yet. Oh, and before continuing, I just want to talk about this. Apparently, yesterday someone from EA or The Sims actually sent me this package into my place in real life with the theme of Sims Sessions, even though I live right in the middle of nowhere in Indonesia, which is a big surprise for me. This is my first time receiving an official Sims package like this, and I can't even believe it arrived really early. In the package, there's this VIP pass for Sims Sessions, I also got some pins, a greeting card, and also a Sims Sessions cap that I can physically wear. But yeah, I just want to give huge thanks to The Sims for sending me this. They are amazing and it really made my whole week. Alright, enough with the tangent, let's get back to the topic. Additionally, you can enter the cheat bb.showhiddenobjects to find some of the objects that was placed on the festival into your lot, like the speaker system, amplifiers, tents, merch stalls, food stalls, and even the stage itself. I'm not sure whether these objects will be removed from the game once the event ends or not, but we'll see. 
These objects can even be interacted. You can sleep in the tent, you can personally hire vendors on both of the stalls and then order stuff from them, and you can even interact and get onto the stage as well. Apparently, besides piano, you can also place guitars and standing microphones on top of it even though you cannot interact with them. Hmm, this is interesting. Also, I think I found a trick to start your own private concert even if the event already ends. But you need to have the MC Command Center mod first because this mod allows you to access the full range of cheats the game kinda hides. You need to enable debug cheat first from the mods menu. After that, activate the testing cheats on cheat. Shift plus left click on the stage that you've set up with a piano. And then the interaction to start a situation will be there. Choose opener 1 for Joy Oladukun, opener 2 for Glass Animals, and headliner for BB Reksha. Click on it and not long after that, they will appear and perform on stage as if the festival happens. You might need to click on the interaction a few more times because sometimes the performers won't appear at first. I have a feeling that this trick can still work even after the event ends, but I'll let you know if it turns out not working after July 7th in the comment section below. If your sim misses the music festival, this update also adds the songs featured in sim sessions into the stereo so you can hear them out again. If you check out the pop radio station, these songs will now be available for your sim to listen and dance to here. As I said before, you can obtain the t-shirt merch festival. If you take a look at Create a Sim, you can see these t-shirts, but they are locked and you need to buy them from the stall in order to unlock them. But if you miss this event and want to try them out, worry not because there's a cheat to unlock them even after the event ends. Simply type in cast.unlockbytag on the cheat console. After that, re-enter the segment and you can finally wear these t-shirts with pride. Here are all the t-shirt festival merch and their swatches. Besides that, this update also introduces this new outfit that one of the performers, BB Reksha, wears. You don't need to unlock it if you want to wear it this time. The same can be said for the outfits worn by Joy Oladukun, but I'm not sure if they're new or not because I haven't paid too much attention on Create a Sim. And for some reason, the clothing items worn by Dave Bailey can't be found anywhere here. I even tried editing his sim self and I have no luck on finding the outfit. To celebrate Pride Month, this update also adds a brand new painting as a decoration. This painting is made by Jupiter Stevens Hill or Midnight Fox 452 on Twitter that celebrates the diversity of pride. I really like it when The Sims actually adds objects that was made by fans and players alike, and I really like to see this continue in the future. And finally, like all updates, this one features many small changes and bug fixes. The list of the changes are plants will no longer reset to a previous growth stage randomly now. When you selected an outfit part in Create a Sim, the highlighted part wouldn't be highlighted immediately if you return to the same segment. You need to scroll up a bit to find it again. This has been fixed so the highlighted part will appear immediately after choosing the segment. Teens generated with the Play with Genetics options in Create a Sim will no longer have crow's feet around their eyes. Previously, if you built a two-level building with stairs and fences on the second floor placed like this, other sims couldn't use the stairs. This has been fixed. Some hairstyles and hair colors change sims teeth so they turn gray or even pitch black. This has been fixed. When you selected some of the new hair colors that was introduced in the last update, your sims eyelids will also change color automatically. This has been fixed as well. Previously, after you learned about the sims likes and dislikes and then tried to open their sim profile, it wouldn't appear. This has been fixed. And the sims forget together if there's an NPC visiting you, sometimes you cannot get them to go home even with the send to home interaction. This has been fixed and they will now go home eventually. You might see some invisible sims doing snow activities like skiing or snowboarding in the sims 4 snowy escape before. This has been fixed and they will no longer appear again. And finally, sims with the slop trait can now complete the fabulously filthy aspiration goal of letting at least one floor level of your home become dirty from the sims 4 bust the dust kit. So those are all of the features and changes introduced in the June 2020 update for the sims 4. As always, the link to the full patch note of the update will be in the video's description. I hope I covered all of them. Thank you so much guys for watching this video, I hope you like it and if you do want more sims videos like this, be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't. See you later!